This time, let me check addition, multiplication, and exponentiation operators. Example number two. If I have x equals to 3 plus 4 times 6 to the 2. When you take the period of x, you will get 147 in the final output. Look, I have three arithmetic operators here. Addition, multiplication, and exponentiation. Because we are talking only about the addition, multiplication, and exponentiation operators here. So we have three operators here. Now, what are the precedents? What are the levels of these arithmetic operators? You have to first play with this part, with the exponentiation part. And then at the second stage, multiplication has the second highest precedence. Secondly, you have to play with the multiplication part. And then addition. Addition has the last precedence. Finally, you have to play with the addition. Let me check it again. Look at here. Exponential has the highest precedence compared to the multiplication and then multiplication has the highest precedence compared to the addition. First comes exponentiation and then multiplication and then addition. Therefore we need to play first with the exponentiation part and then with the multiplication part and then with the addition part. 6 to the 2 will be 36. This 6 double stake 2 means that 6 to the 2. 6 power 2. So 6 power 2 means 6 times 6. So 6 times 6 will be 36. 6 to the 2 will be 36 and then solve the exponential region. 36 times 4 will be 144. And then finally solve the addition region which is this. 144 plus 3 will be 147. That's how the precedence of the arithmetic operators work. First solve the exponential part and then the multiplication part and then the addition part. You will get 147 if you take the print of x. What is x? x is the variable name. It is the identifier. It is the placeholder for this whole expression, for this whole expression. This is my expression with the addition, multiplication and exponential operators. So whenever you call this expression, this information, you must call x. It is the name in computer memory, this whole expression, this whole expression has been saved with the name x. So you need to call x, therefore print of x will return 147. Because 6 to the 2 will be 36, 36 times 4 will be 144, 144 plus 3 will be 147. It is a simple mathematic process. This is the mathematical process in the Python language, remember. It is not the native mathematical procedure. It is the mathematical process in the Python language. As I've explained to you before, that in Python language, the exponential sign is different. You have to put double asterisks. The multiplication sign is different. You have to put a single asterisk for the multiplication sign. It is in the Python language.